Hey everyone, welcome back to another After Effect tutorial, today, we are going to create, underwater trailer title effect, like this. So let's get started. First open After Effect, and create a new composition, 1920 by 1080, and it's called the main comp. Then create one more composition it's called scene 1. Let's create a solid layer. And apply gradient ramp effect. Swap color and change ramp shape, linear ramp to radial ramp and change the white color into little dark gray color perfect now apply noise effect change noise amount 3% and also uncheck choose color noise Here we have some footages. Download all footage link in description. So drag wall background image into the timeline. And change mode normal to multiply. Now create bubble effect, so create a new solid layer it's called foam. Then search foam effect. Change view to rendered. Here you can see the bubble, let's change its setting little bit. Open producer and change X and Y size. Change production rate 0.600. Now expand bubble setting, change bubble size around 0 0.050. You can see the small bubbles. Change lifespan around 1000. Now change the physics setting. Initial speed around 0.200. Wind speed around 0 0.600 Wind direction 10 degrees Decreased turbulence around 0 0.080 Wobble amount around 0 0.0120 Repulsion 0 0.020 Viscosity 4 And last random seed around 10 Here you can see the little bubble effects Perfect, it's look good to me So now create wave effect So create a new solid layer It's called fractal Now apply fractal noise effect. Change the fractal type basic to dynamic progressive. And check invert. Open transform. Now we need to animate offset turbulence. So go to first frame and add a keyframe on offset turbulence. Go to one second forward and change the offset turbulence. Now we need to add little expression, on offset turbulence. So now our offset turbulence continuous running. 
Also we need to animate the evolution, so add expression time into 200. So you can see the R fractal noise look like wave. Now select the fractal layer, and double click on ellipse tool to create a perfect ellipse mask. Open mask property and change mask feather around 500. And mask expansion around minus 50. Also change the opacity around 10%. Perfect. Now go to project window drag scratch image into timeline. Let's apply fill effects on scratch image. And change color red to white. Resize the image little bit. And move top left corner. Then duplicate the scratch image multiple time. And spread your image like this. Now select all layer and convert into 3D. Then select 2 view horizontal view, and move Z position of all scratch images closer to camera. Perfect. Now add text elements. So create a new composition it's called, text precomp. Then drag text grunge texture image into timeline. And apply tint effect. Change black color little gray color. And swap the color. Now create a new solid layer. And apply gradient ramp. And change mode normal to stencil luma. Swap the color of gradient tramp. And change text grunge mataluma mat. Now select both layer and pre-compose them. It's called text texture. Now create a new text placeholder comp. And type your text. Then go to text pre-comp and drag text placeholder comp into timeline. And change text text you mat alpha mat. Perfect, it's look good to me. Now go to scene 1 and drag text pre-comp into timeline. And apply fill effect. Change fill color black. Then apply CC Radial Blur. Change Blur Type Straight Zoom. And Amount 18. And change the center point like this, this is our shadow layer. Now duplicate the text precomp, and delete all effects. Then apply Tint Effect. And swap the color. Now apply matte choker. Go to first frame and add a keyframe on all effect. Then change geometric softness around 6. Choke one around 85. And gray level softness 70%. Geometric softness to around 6.5. Choke to minus 100. And iterations around 2. 
Now go to one second forward and change the geometric softness 1, 0. Choke 1 around minus 35. Gray level softness 0%. Geometric softness to 1.6. Choke to minus 125. And leave the iterations. You wonder how I know the exact amount. I know the exact amount because I've practiced many times before. Perfect, it's look good to me. Now apply glow effect. Change glow radius around 145. And glow intensity 1.5. Select both text layer and convert into 3D. Then go to view horizontal view, and change Z position little closer to camera. Now drag the dust particle into timeline. And change mode normal to screen. Perfect. Then drag atmosphere footage into timeline. And change mode normal to screen. Then apply Gaussian blur. And blurriness around 300. Select both footage and make 3D. Now go to project window and drag dust beams footage into timeline. And change mode normal to screen. Also change the opacity 30%. Here you can see the light beams. Perfect, it's look good to me. Now create wave effects on our title, so create a new composition it's called Text Fractal. Then create solid layer. And apply fractal noise. Change fractal type dynamic progressive, and check invert. Now add expression on evolution. Time into 200. Also decrease the size around 70%. Now go to scene 1 and drag text fractal comp into timeline. Then create an adjustment layer. And apply displacement map. Change displacement map layer, text fractal. Change horizontal displacement green, max horizontal displacement 3. Vertical displacement red, and max vertical displacement 3. Turn off the text fractal layer. Now create a camera. And also make adjustment in text fractal layer 3D. Then select camera and hit P for and shift R for rotation, now go to around 1 second forward. And add a key on position and Z rotation. Then go to first frame and change Z rotation 30 degree. And Z position close to camera. Select both last key and make your graph like this. I think we need some work on rotation keyframe. 
select last rotation key and easy ease them, and make your graph like this. Perfect, it's look good to me. Now create a null layer. And parent your camera with null layer, also convert into 3D. Now go to first frame and add a keyframe on position, then go to 5 to 6 second forward and change Z position little far from the camera. Perfect. Now go to main comp. And drag scene 1 comp into timeline. Then create an adjustment layer. It's our color correction layer. Now apply curves effect. And make your curves like this. I am skipping this part so that you don't have to wait. Perfect, it's look good to me. To achieve cinematic look create letterbox effect, select rectangle tool, stroke color none, and fill color black. Then create a shape like this. Now duplicate the shape layer and align with bottom alignment. Perfect. Our animation has done. Hit zero for ender. Thanks for watching, I hope you like the video. If you like the video please share it, like it, and subscribe our channel. For more tutorial I'll see you in the next video.